Hi friends, among the three types of layout management, we have already discussed about grid and place. The third type pack we will discuss now. And this is entirely about layout, how to position your widgets on the screen, different directions and the locations. I will understand all about this. This is our blank window from in this we will place our widgets and note that we should not mix the layout types like place, widget and pack in one program. You use one type only. So now we will use pack for this. So first let's start with L1. Sorry. Ah, okay. L1. This is our list box we are using. You can use any other widget also. Placing it my parent window is my underscore W. Then I am giving slight height to it. So it will be visible and bg background color i am giving yellow intentionally i am giving it so it is more prominent and i can also place it uh, back here but this is not a good practice side equal to let's say left but why it is not a good practice is suppose if you are subsequently using l1 for some other purpose because this will return none so l1 will hold non type so you are using there it will be so it is not a good even it is applicable to grid and place also so don't use it in one line take it to the next line and assign it l1 dot pack side is left so it is it is saying what this left meaning is we are use the option side here it is placed at left of next element so if i'll write right here it can take left right bottom top the side option so if i am right right here means it is placed at right of the next element so same language will same thing will continue for the, our next element also i am writing a button here b1 equal tk dot button you can use any other uh, wizard also my underscore w again i am writing some text over it b1 because subsequently i will be using something else again i am taking to the next line pack now here i am giving side equal to let's say right but this is immaterial when the last element i am writing this particular one is immaterial because there is no next element so uh, let's i have saved it let's run this and see here it is you can see i have got my first wizard here second wizard and i have told here use the left so it is left of the next wizard now let's add one more element i'll just copy this button placing it again giving a different name here i'm giving b2 and here text also i am changing here making it b2 okay so here i am changing it to left again so three elements i am using side is left so let's just save this and run you can see b1 and b2 is here b1 is here because we have told l1 is left b1 is also it is left of the next element the next element is b2 here so it is left b1 is placed left of it and you just note that we have written right it has it is immaterial the last element there is no use let's change this option to right so the site can take the value right so i have saved this now running you can see now uh, we have uh, this b b1 is at the right of the next element next element is b2 so now b1 b2 positions are changed let's add a higher font for a better visibility i have just placed the font and let's me connect this uh, buttons to my font here which is just a higher size font font one this is just for our uh, clear uh, visibility only nothing to do with the script font one okay now let's change this right to bottom so b1 will be bottom of the b2 below the b2 so i am saying bottom here so i saved it let's run this and see here it is so our b1 below the b2 because we have given bottom now let's change it to make it top what happens so it will be top of so the this four options left right top and bottom we have explored so b1 should be at the top of the b2 let's understand the option fill 
so fill is uh, we are telling the wizard to fill the available space in uh, horizontal vertical or in both the directions so we'll remove this we'll keep a b1 b2 let's go for a b3 also so i will just place it here but b3 i am saying this is again changing to b3 this text also i'll change to b3 okay now b3 i'm uh, here at the top first b1 i'll just i'll not say anything about this but i will give a width to it so let me just give a width equal to 20 so this is this much space it should take the next one i'm i'll not say write anything here i'll remove this one and here also i will say the only pack i'm aside will remove now come to the last one here i will say fill fill equal to i will say x x means horizontal direction whatever space you have fill it so uh, take the full space that's the main let's i have saved it let's see how this looks here it is you can see okay i'll change the background so you can clearly uh, this will be visible so here i will add the bg yellow bg equal to yellow so this button is yellow other two are i'll keep it or i will say here light bz equal to light blue okay so let's just see the how this looks okay you can see here i have given b1 width so the window has taken the same b2 i have not specified anything and i told fill x b3 i told fill it x so what happened this it has taken the entire space but i have not specified any width there so th accordingly it has taken its own width now i'll close this now what happens because uh, there is no space in the y direction so we'll see what happens if i'll change it to uh, change the uh, fill direction to vertical fill we'll see that to understand vertical fill let's remove this button and place our whole list box because we have given a height of 8 so you want a more vertical uh, space should be available for our button to expand and let's remove this also so let the widgets take its own value so here what you will do is we will give a side we are given as left next here we'll say because we will horizontally align them side equal to left and here also we'll say side equal to left and fill here we'll say whatever vertical space is available occupy it so we are saying this and running it we'll see yeah see this b2 it has not expanded vertically but b3 has expanded because and we have intentionally increased this height to 8 so we have given so the it, window is stretched vertically and b3 has bottom 3 has taken the full space now let's give more space to this by expanding our windows so 400 by 250 now what happens we are there are more available space now now you can see what happens here is you can see it is it is fine vertically everything now still some more space is available now let's just uh, assign our b3 uh, fill horizontally also let's say i will give this one both but let's see what happens when i am giving it both but it has not expanded in the x direction the reason is because there is a difference here in the fill and expand i have to give a another option expand equal to true so expand will tell that so that if set to true then tells that take any not assigned space whatever balance space is there take it in the given direction given by fill so i'll say expand equal to true let's just see what happens now we'll say by default note that expand is false you see now b3 has taken all the balance available space so this way we can and default value for expand is false let's understand about anchor this is another option which will tell us within the side how to align at the top corner or the bottom corner we can use anchor also i'm just pasting it let me just select this i'm same three buttons but with a slightly different value okay i have missed the font also let me just place the font equal to font one here also second button i'll say 
font equal to font one here also i will say font equal to font one now you just see these are all side is kept as left this is button i'll give space here you can un okay button two and anchor i have given as northwest what happens in the if it is northwest now you can imagine i want to align this in a particular corner so let's just save this i have saved this and running this let's see what happens you can see b1 b2 b3 now what happens? i want in this corner i want in this corner i want so this slight changes in the side and the anchor will give us that output let's close this and this left will change it to right and this nw northwest will make it uh, south east so i'll say south east here let's just change it to right and i am saying southeast sorry i let's first stop so we'll say north northeast then we'll come next we'll see south so north now here i'll say again right we'll go clockwise so north east now let's just run this and see where it we are you can see it is here now let's just change it to uh, southeast so it will come here so let's make it south this also southeast se so i am let's save this run here it is one more direction is left so let's uh, change this to left and this will be uh, our southwest so left this is south west now again left you can experiment with other combinations also south west let's see where it is going here it is so all four directions checked we'll understand about pack forget so in that case we can remove a widget and place it back also so for that we'll use pack forget and pack again to restore it so i have just a basic code here here three uh, two buttons and one label is there this label will control by using the buttons they are just placed one over the other so button then uh, for, sorry here i missed a comma here okay so and uh, fonts uh, bigger size font i have used it now let's just see this how this looks we are not given any commands here you can see remove display and here it is our label the last one is the plus to net what you are written is our label so i can just give a slightly different bg to middle one so it will be prominent so i have just added a background now we can see yeah so here it is one button now we'll by clicking this button we'll manage this using pack forget so we'll say here we are here now i am saying command equal to lambda now what my lambda will do l1 l1 is my label one at line number 11 l1 dot pack forget that's i am using it now here also i will say again command equal to lambda l1 dot here i will say restore it so i am saying again pack let's say pack and can i add the side top also so it will be as it is where it was side equal to top now let's see what happens i'm just saved it running is so here it is now i'll say remove it, it is removed so it is resized now display so it has come up again now i can again remove it again display it let's understand about our padding ipad x ipad y so internal and external padding so let's first see how this looks here it is we have a, a simple list box and a button at the bot uh, at the bottom so here we will add the padding pad x pad y and all so let me just first give pad x uh, sorry let's start with internal first so ipad x equal to 20 and similarly ipad y equal to 20 so let's just see what how this affects i uh, saved it running it again so you can see now because of pad x pad y left uh, you can see the text and the edges the gap has come up 
so now let's go for and add the pad x equal to 20 not internal i am using pad x only pad y equal to again 20 so let's see how this works here it is now the gap between the bottom and the wizard or the edges has increased because it i have given a pad x pad y value of 20. There are few more methods like pack propagate where uh, a flag can be set that when it will resize the manager it holds all the widgets and pack slaves also to get a list of widgets and all. Uh, it's going too long so you can download the entire source code and the samples are also available. That's all I will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and please share it with your friends and ask them to subscribe also and if you have any doubts suggestions questions any feedbacks use the comment section below and post it and thank you for watching.